Now for the comparison of the liver and right kidney parenchyma, I am placing the probe here, patient is supine. So I can see part of the right kidney, but not with the liver. So here we have to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Even in this direction, I can not make out the liver. Only kidney is seen in total. Now, I will have to ask the patient to take uh, to turn in the left lateral decubitus posture. Left lateral decubitus posture. Here, the patient has changed the posture. I have placed the probe in the subcostal region going to move it down or in this direction whichever gives me the right kidney and left and the liver sparenchyma together. So the lumbar sas like a sans rope. Patient has taken a deep breath, has hold it. Here I can see the right kidney and the liver both together. So I can make out that the liver is normal because it is more echogenic than that of the renal parenchyma. Now in this direction. Again, patient will take a deep breath and hold it. Ambasas, Roku. So I can see the diaphragm. Ambasari If I place the probe here, tilt it. And in the, I am pressing the probe in the intercostal space with patient in left lateral decubitus posture and tilting it so that I can rule out if there is any fluid above the diaphragm. This I may have to angle the probe in this direction or I may have to come down as well. I may have to go up. It depends upon from patient to patient. Here I can see right to of the liver and that from both together with no fluid above the diaphragm, only gas shadows. So there is no fluid. This is from this angle. When I was, I had tilted like this. I was seeing the diaphragm. And now a little up, just when I straighten the probe, I am able to see kidney and liver. A portion of the kidney, half kidney is seen, liver is seen and we can make out whether the liver is normal or not assuming that the right kidney is normal we can see that the parenchymal echogenicity of the liver is slightly more than that of the renal parenchyma which is the expected normal